got some great ideas for you. Welcome to our Green Thumb segment. Today's topic, getting ready for fall plantings. This morning, Ryan Bates from Ted Laird Design Build is here with some ideas to get you ready for the season. So let's talk about what you've got here first, and then we're going to get to our phone calls. Sure. We've got a bunch of plants that are great for fall, uh, give you a lot of fall color in the garden. There's uh, mums, like this one down here, that's got nice red flowers, little yellow center. Those will bloom all the way through frost. And then we also have asters, which basically do the same thing. They're just a little more hardy than the mums, a little easier to take care of. Beautiful. And, and how about these tall guys over here? Oh, this is uh, Ravina grass. This grass can grow up to 12 feet tall with the plume, wow. huge silver plumes. The foliage itself will get about oh, six feet tall, about six feet wide. So it's a big plant, but it puts on a big show in the fall. Very nice. And the, yeah. the one with the white flowers right behind that it? That is pretty. actually a climbing vine called Sweet Autumn Clematis. It blooms in the fall with white flowers also into frost sometimes and it can vine up to 40 feet so it's a great one to put wow. on fences or on trellises or arbors to uh, to make a nice statement in the fall so it'll green up in the spring and then stay green through yep. the summer too and mm -hmm. then you get the flowers then you the get fall. the fall very yeah. nice and then mm -hmm. over on this side what is this that's actually an annual grass called purple fountain grass that grass a lot of people use in pots in the fall a uh, great plant to just add some color to the pots plus when the foliage dries It'll stay up all winter, so you have even a winter show right. with that plant. And that really goes for any of the ornamental grasses. But it does not survive from year to year. Right, so that one won't survive from year to year. Okay, great. We want to get to our phone calls this morning because we have a, a couple of questions for you. We start with Kim from Des Moines. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. Well, what's your question? I would like to know how to help my mom survive through the winter. Ah, excellent question. Well, there's a couple things you can do. Uh, probably the best thing is to make sure that you put a good layer of mulch over them for the winter. And then also uh, make sure you water them well through the winter. Believe it or not, probably one of the most important things you can do in the winter is water your plants during the dry parts of the winter when we don't have a lot of snow. That moisture in the soil actually helps the soil from freezing so deeply and, uh, and adds to uh, you know, the winter hardiness of the plants. Wow, and make sure you tuck them in. Yep. yep. Tuck them in with all that mulch. All right, great. Thanks, Kim. Ashley from Des Moines also has a question about uh, her grass. Ashley. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I was wondering what I could do to help my grass grow back better in the spring and also what plants I should plant. Okay. Like what type of grass you should put in? Um, yes, I have a lot of patchy parts in my yard and a lot of mud and dirt, and I just want a fuller, nicer, greener yard in the spring. Sure. Um, probably the best thing you could do is start out by aerating your lawn, especially if you have a heavier soil. That'll help uh, loosen up the soil, get some air in the soil, and that'll help your, your grass roots grow. And then uh, depending on how bad it is, if it's just some small patches, you can get some grass seed patch. Um, and that's usually a product that has mulch, fertilizer, and grass seed all together, and you just put those in the bare areas and, and keep them watered, and your grass will grow back up that way. That's probably one of the easiest ways. You can also sod. Um, by putting in pieces of, you know, already grown grass into that area. Um, the other thing you could do if it's more of a wide general area is just overseed with some grass seed and do that. Uh, also, uh, do it now in the fall and do it in the spring and you'll get a lot thicker lawn. Excellent. All right. Terrific. Well, thank you so much, everybody who called in. And uh, we will get to more phone calls next Saturday when Ted Laird Design returns. But in the meantime, Ted Laird Design Build is located in the Old Coming Apple Orchard. You can also check them out by way of our website, kcci.com. We're going to be right back with your Zoom Minute.